referring to an exercise we did in class and there is a bunch of equations and you need to find equal expressions. So that means that <coughs> uh, 8 minus 5 equals 8 plus y. So we have this expression right here and an expression right here that should be exactly the same. So 8 minus 5 is 3. So 8 plus negative 5 is also 3. Here we have 8 minus negative 5, which is like 8 plus 5 or 13. So we can write here 8 plus 5. And then we have negative 4 minus 6, and that equals negative 10. So if we have negative 4 plus something, we would add negative 6. And that also equals negative 10. Here we have negative 4 minus negative 6, which is equal to positive 2. And if we had negative 4 plus something, we would have to add 6 to that. And they ask, what kind of patterns do we see here? Well, there's a couple of things that I notice. On this side, all these expressions are subtraction. So on this side of the equal sign, again, think of the equal sign as like a border between two sides. So when I say this side, I mean these expressions. On this side, we have all addition. What does that mean? Well, we're trying to make equal expressions. So in order to turn subtraction to an equal expression, we could use addition. And then what we did here with the number values along here, um, we also switched those. So we switched the operation from subtraction to addition, and we switched the number values from, well, here we have a positive 5. It says 8 minus 5, but that's kind of a given, and it's really meaning 8 minus positive 5, which is 3. So we turn that into a negative 5. We turn this negative 5 into a positive 5. We turn this positive 6, again, it's negative 4 minus 6, which really means negative 4 minus positive 6, into a negative 6. And we turned this negative 6 into a positive 6. So we also switched the sign on the second number in each expression. So um, what we hope we can take from this is that Let's say you have a problem that's written as subtraction. If you want to solve it as an addition problem, you can change the sign of the second number, and you can also change the operation from subtraction to addition, and the reverse is true. If you want to solve an addition problem as subtraction, turn it into subtraction, and then flip the sign of the second number.